Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Danica and I'm the Fit Mom Lifestyle on Instagram, LTK, and TikTok. And today I am back with my weekly Lululemon haul. So, I am very excited about today's haul and I feel like I say that all the time, but I went out of my comfort zone and I tried some new pieces that I love. And I think they're really great and I think you need to get your hands on them. So. I can't wait to talk about them and if you're excited for today's video please make sure to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell especially if you love lululemon because i come out with at least one new video every week and let's get into the product okay so let's start off with the top that i'm wearing and probably my favorite piece from today's haul so this is the swiftly tech cropped long sleeve 2.0. I got this in a size 12 and this is in the color black. The card says, go ahead, get sweaty. The Swiftly Tech Collection powered by seamless construction is the ultimate gear for running and training. Our seamless construction uses the fewest number of seams to create gear that glides across skin so you can skip the chafe. Silverescent technology powered by X-Static inhibits the growth of odor-causing bacteria on the garment. Added elastane improves stretch and shape retention, mesh construction for breathability, thumb holes, slim fit, cropped length. Now, I already like the Swiftly Tech line. I don't wear the short sleeves really ever. In fact, I was cleaning out my closet and I got rid of the last one that I had, but I love mainly the high neck tanks and the long sleeves. So I do have one, or no, no, I have two regular tanks, like the regular scoop. They are in the race length though. And then I have a bunch of the high neck ones, which I absolutely love and wear for CrossFit and F45 all the time. I actually wore one this morning. Love those so, so much. Then I have a lot of the Swiftly long sleeves in the race length, and I wear those a lot. Um, I'll wear them in the fall and winter, but I also wear them a lot to warm up because oftentimes in CrossFit we do like a lifting component, and then we do the Metcon, like a high intensity type of workout. And so often I'll wear the long sleeve for the lifting portion and then take it off and, you know, have a tank on for the more like sweaty high intensity portion of the workout. So I wear these a lot, at least once a week. Um, for the tanks, I wear a size eight. So I actually size down in the tanks. I start at a size 10 and I size down, um, to an eight in the tanks. However, for the long sleeves, I size up to a 12. So I personally do not like anything constricting around like my underarms, my shoulders. I don't like when anything pulls at all. So because of that, I often size up in long sleeves just to give me like more room to move. I just hate feeling constricted. So I always size up to a 12. Now, when this came out, I was like, you know what? I don't need that. I like the race length. The race length is perfect. On me, the race length hits right where my leggings are. So like there's no skin showing. It looks great. And I went into the store recently. I actually posted on my TikTok. I'll share on here. Make sure you guys are following me on TikTok because I've been doing um, dressing room try-ons lately because sometimes I either one, can't get these videos up fast enough for you if there's something that you like really want to see or I'm not like it doesn't work for me. So I'm not going to buy it. So if there's anything that you want me to include in an upcoming TikTok, like a dressing room try on TikTok, comment it down below. And like I said, I'll have um, this one posted. I tried this on and actually another item in this haul in that TikTok. So TikTok sees it first. So make sure you're following me there. But anyway, I decided to try this on for that try on and I was blown away. I was like I really didn't think I was gonna like this and I already like the Swiftly long sleeves so I was like I really just don't even need that version and there's just something about where it hits like it hits me right above my belly button it just hits like at the perfect spot and it looks so good like it's so flattering now I did size up to a 12 I actually in that dressing room try on tried on a 10 as well and the 10 fit like it fit better everywhere except for right here and like I said I just don't like when it pulls here at all especially if I'm wearing it to lift like I want full range of motion you know what I mean so um I think if you were just wearing it more like casually or you don't either have because I have broad shoulders and kind of like bigger arms um if you don't have those issues 
I recommend getting your true size. If you are like broader, more muscular, whatever, I recommend sizing up because I just like more room. Now it is a little bit looser around like my belly button, but I actually think that looks more flattering. I've said this before on here, my belly button is not like my favorite part of my body to highlight, but because of how it sits, it just looks really good. Um, so like I said, I was not even going to consider this and I tried it on. I was like, I definitely need it in black. Um, they have a few other colors right now and I'm tempted to get those colors just because I like this top. But at the same time, I'm like, I really don't, those are not colors that I grab for enough probably to buy them full price, maybe on sale. Um, but I am hoping that they come out with some more colors because I love this. Like I am keeping my eye on this because I will buy more and I just, it's so comfortable. I love the, um, the thumb holes and I really feel like this is comfortable enough that I would just wear it hanging out. Like I would wear this if I were looking to wear like a cute athleisure top with leggings. It's just really cute or like sweatpants or something. I really like it. I feel so comfortable in it and I feel like because it's because of where it cuts it almost feels like a lip it's not dressier but it just doesn't feel as like athletic as my swiftly in the race length i feel like because this one like fits to my body better it looks like nicer and dressier if that makes any sense it just conforms to my body it shows my shape a little bit more so i feel like it looks cuter you know so anyway i really like this i am so so pleasantly surprised if you haven't tried it i know i've been talking about this one piece for so long but i really like totally wrote it off until i did that dressing room try on so i highly recommend at least trying it on especially if you already like the swiftly line because i think you will really really love it Okay, the next piece that I grabbed in that dressing room try-on is actually something that I love and already own in a bunch of colors. So this is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Abrasion Resistant Training Long Sleeve. I got this in my True Size 10 and this is in the color Chambray. I've been loving Chambray. I've hauled quite a bit of Chambray in the most, you know, most recent hauls. So it says burpees, squats, presses, and lifts, bring it on. This abrasion resistant top is made to handle tough workouts, rep after rep. Rep. Abrasion resistant fabric is four way stretch, sweat wicking, and quick drying. More wearing, less washing. This garment was treated with no stink sink technology to inhibit the growth of odor causing bacteria on the fabric. Um, it's relaxed fit, waist length, and then it says it's recycled. So I, exactly what the card says, is why I love this top. I wear this, honestly, if I'm warming up at the gym or if I, like I said, if it's cooler and I wanna wear a long sleeve, um, because it's a CrossFit gym, it's just like, kind of like a warehouse and so the temperature um, is not as controlled. So if it's really cold outside, it's cold in the gym. So anyway, I'm usually wearing a Swiftly um, race length or the abrasion resistant long sleeve. Uh, those are like my go-to long sleeves to warm up in or wear in the fall and winter for the workout. So I absolutely love these. These are my go-tos. Um, what's interesting is this on me is a lot more oversized. So in comparison to this swiftly long sleeve, like this kind of gives me no shape. Um, often I wear this with leggings or like um, biker shorts if I'm going Usually I don't like to do tight on tight unless it's for a workout that calls for that. Like for example, when we're doing burpees or jump rope or something, I just want everything compressed so I'll do tight on tight. But if like it's not that type of workout, I'll usually do either loose shorts and a tight top or a tight top, wait, <laughs> hold on. You know what I'm saying? Loose on bottom and tight on top or loose on top and tight on bottom. Anyway, um, so I'll often do kind of like a mix of that. And so I like to wear these, especially with like my four inch shorts because I have like more coverage and just more volume on top. And then I've got my cute little four inch shorts on bottom. So I do that a lot too. But anyway, I just really love these tops, but they are, well, at least the size that I get, my true size is a lot bigger on me, as you could see in the try-on. I love this color. I just think this is such a pretty blue. It's funny because I really like chambray and utility blue, and for whatever reason, like the title teal, I'm not gravitating towards as much, but I love the chambray. It's like a cooler blue, I think. So anyway, 
I love this so much. I think it is so pretty. And again, I think this looks really cute with white shorts, gray. Um, obviously, you could just do black too or any other spring colors. I think it'll pair really nicely, but I just really, really love these as a throw over piece. It's easy, especially if you're like maybe working out in a sports bra um, or just like a tighter top and you want a little extra coverage. These are so great. And like I said, the card did mention that it's abrasion resistant. So if I'm holding a barbell on my like chest or on my back or something, I don't have to worry about this pilling, which is so great, especially for things like CrossFit or F45, which I do a lot of. Um, these are also really great for running if you want a long sleeve I just love how loose and flowy they are so again these are two great long sleeve options but very different silhouette so if you maybe don't love to show off your upper body you don't want anything too tight or form-fitting go with this if you want something a little bit more like you know snatch and make you look a little more feminine I would say then go for this um, also I do get this in my true size 10 because I like that oversized look personally but my sister who's a very similar size to me has tried it on and she will wear a four or a six and we're the same size so you do have a lot of room with this if you want to go with a smaller size I personally just like that oversized look because if you know like I said I'll grab different tops for different looks so I know I talked a lot about those two tops, but I really love those. And these are like my go-to tops for the gym, but they also look really cute for casual wear if you wanna do that. So these pieces I highly recommend and they're very versatile. You could wear them so many different ways. Okay, moving on to the last top. This was a bit of a disappointment because it didn't fit me right. And I'm so sad about it because I was very, very excited about this. So this is the lululemon align tank i got this in white opal it was on sale in a size 12. so usually for my regular align tanks i size up one to a 12 because they're made for a and b cup and i have like a c ish cup um and so i like sizing up one so i just don't have too much cleavage however i've recently been working out and working on my nutrition a little bit more if you haven't seen my recent nutrition challenge videos i'll link the most recent one in the cards and below so you can check it out but i've lost like five ish pounds and a couple of inches so things are fitting differently of course the first to go is your chest right so things are fitting differently right now because i'm kind of in like this deficit in this cut so anyway it's kind of hard with sizing so all that being said i usually would get a size 12 in align tanks and all the older versions of the align tanks that i have well i shouldn't say that i have some in 10s and some in 12s but i grab the 12s a lot and i really really love them but these new align tanks have these thicker straps which um i've actually not bought an align tank since they've re done them since they've updated them so it's got like thicker straps this kind of like angles differently and I feel like this comes out a little bit more than it used to it's almost like not a sharp angle it kind of like curves a little I don't know if if you can see that but I feel like it I don't know I feel like it cuts differently so anyway it just doesn't sit right on me at all um, I obviously didn't go through the card because I feel like a lot of people know what align tanks are so I didn't run through that but I just feel like I don't know I've heard a lot of people say a similar thing where the new align tanks just don't fit the same and I was really disappointed because I was so excited to find white opal on sale because I thought this would be such a good staple for um, spring and summer but yeah, it just like, it was kind of loose here. Like I had a little gapping, which is really weird because that's not how my other ones fit me at all. So I guess I would need this in a size 10. And again, that could be due to my body changing as well. But my 12s in the regular ver or the old version fit and my 10s in the old version fit. So these just fit differently. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I just, I don't know if I like this new Align tank. So that's interesting. Um... I'm going to send that one back and I just wanted to explain that because if you if you haven't tried the Align Tank, 
I don't know the sizing is different now so I would maybe go true to size I can't say with 100% certainty because obviously I haven't tried my true size in the new version so that's really interesting but anyway I just wanted to share that fail with you as well okay moving into bottoms this is another thing that I have and love in multiple colors but I found this on sale. I went to San Diego. We went to visit my sister. She's in college there. We had to go into the Lululemon. We checked it out. I actually did another dressing room try on there and we found this on sale. And I remember when this dropped, I really wanted it. And then I was like, I don't need it. It's fine. And then it went on sale and then I missed it. And then I went to the store with my sister and it was in stock and on sale. At the store and my sister was like you need to get that she's like of all the things you tried on get that so I was like okay twist my arm so anyway this is the pace rival mid-rise skirt I got this in a size 8 in pink why do I always forget this one I always forget this color code I'll have it listed down below I want to say I did this on my like TikTok too where I hauled something and I'm like I don't even remember this color it's it's not pink mist I don't know anyway I'll have it listed below I always forget this color so it says pockets in your skirt that's a yes from tennis to trail running drop in pockets let you keep essentials close soft no swift fabric is lightweight four-way stretch sweat wicking and quick drying built-in luxe fabric liner is sweat wicking and four-way stretch with a cool smooth feel added lycra fiber for stretch and shape retention stash your, stash your stuff in the side drop-in pockets on the short liner mid-rise i think it's three and a half inch length but the sticker is covering it so um I really really love this skirt I think it is so cute I have it in multiple colors like I said I've worn it to Disneyland for a very long day and it's super comfortable the only thing I will say after hours and hours um, it has the built-in shorts so let me just show you this is what it looks like in the front which I think is really cute and then this is what it looks like in the back so it adds a little bit of like femininity and um, like curves kind of and then it's got this drop in pocket here which is really handy and then it does have a draw cord so you can tighten it I have these in sixes and eights I just got an eight um, but it's got built-in shorts which are really handy and then it has this like um, kind of like what do you even call this uh, lining I don't know what to call this it's got this little thing grippy here to hold it in place and I will say after like 10 hours I started to get annoyed with that at Disneyland but other than that it's super comfortable it's got the drop in pockets like it said and these are just so cute I also wore it to top golf one time and I was like oh I feel so cute in my little skirt I don't golf or play tennis so I just thought it was like really cute so anyway I love these I mainly wear them casually I've never worked out in them but they just look so cute and so feminine and I just love this color so I think this will look really cute with like white sneakers and a white tank in the summer I know that's pretty basic but I just love it I think it is adorable and if you haven't tried this is my favorite skirt from Lululemon so I highly recommend I absolutely love and I can either get a six or an eight it really just depends but because I can tighten it I just got the eight so love love that and I was so excited to get that on sale and the last item that I also got on sale you have been requesting that I try this kind of like line from Lululemon I've tried it on in store multiple times and it just didn't fit my body in the past now that being said I've been doing this nutrition challenge I've lost a few inches in my waist and I've always said that my waist is where I carry a lot of my weight and so I don't have like an hourglass figure I'm very square and so what happens is I buy pants that are numerical sizes or that have like some sort of closure and they fit in the waist but then they're baggy everywhere else because I've got more of like a square body and so that's always difficult like jeans are very hard for me any pants that are not like a stretchy waistband are very hard for me because of how my body is built so whenever you've asked me to try on pants that have a cinch it just doesn't look right on me because I have to get like bigger in the waist and then I have like tiny legs and so it just like doesn't look right so anyway I've tried these before and I'm just like I don't I don't have anything like to say like positive to say I don't know so anyway I tried them recently because they were on sale and they work 
because I've lost a couple inches in my waist and so it doesn't look as weird anymore on my body type. So anyway, this is the City Sleek Five Pocket Wide Leg Pant. This is in the Utilitech, which my husband loves the Utilitech pants on the men's line, so he's gonna be so excited that I have my own pair. I got this in a size 29, which I like. I could probably size down to a 28 and it would still fit, but I like, well one, my size is fluctuating right now, but two, I like having a little more room so that my skin isn't like bulging over. So these are in the color natural ivory, which I think is so beautiful for spring and summer. It'll be really cute to dress up. And the card says, work days or weekends inspired by jeans, these wide leg five pocket pants have a sleek feel next to skin. Cotton blend light util tech fabric is four way stretch, sweat wicking and quick drying. It feels natural on the outside and sleek next to the skin. Five pockets, two in back, two in front, one coin. Fly front, high rise. Now, I am very happy that these worked and I didn't think they would. Um, like I, I explained my body type, I explained why, but I think these are really cute. They are wide legs, so they're definitely bigger. And I like these better than just the regular um, City Sleek. I think these are more flattering. Oh, they do have a little spot on them, but they were on sale, so it's okay. Um, anyway, I love this natural ivory color. I think these are so cute. Like I said, I really like this Utilitech fabric. It's kind of like um, when my husband and I were talking about it, if you've ever had like a Carhartt jacket or felt a Carhartt jacket, like that's kind of what it feels like, the texture. Um, let's see if you can see. There you go. So it's kind of like textured, um, which I don't know. I really like it's, it's got like a nice kind of, it's got a weightiness to it, but these are thinner than the men's Utilitech in my opinion. They're just not as heavy, but it's just a really nice fabric. Um, so it does remind me of a lot of the items from the men's line. So anyway, these are, were a very nice surprise. I'm really excited to style them. Maybe I'll have to include them in an upcoming outfits of the week, but you can see their wide leg all the way down. I'm also 5'5", five five, so I will have to wear heels with them. I don't think I'm going to get them hemmed. I think I'll just wear heels with them. So thank you for encouraging me to try those, and I'm glad that they finally worked for me. So I would say if you have more of a square build like me, it's hard. It's hard if your stomach is one of your bigger like parts because then it fits your stomach, but then it's baggy everywhere else. And so I feel like the only reason it finally fit is because my stomach is like a little bit smaller now, or like probably not even smaller, but more proportional. So it works because I just carry my weight there. I always have, or I'm bloated or whatever. So I think unfortunately this type of pant works better on curvier women as opposed to like square women um for my square girls i recommend sticking to like the stretchy waistband because that's what works for me um generally so stretch high rise pants and obviously most of the pants have like stretchy waistbands so that's been my experience but they work for me now and i also did kind of size up so you could also size up maybe you have the like a bigger butt than i do because i also don't have like the biggest butt so maybe your curves balance it out a little more but anyway that was my experience and they finally i finally found a pair that worked for me so i'm very excited about those and i'm very excited to style them this upcoming season all right, so that is it for today's Lululemon haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down below what your favorite item from today's haul was. And also, again, don't forget to comment anything you want me to try on and follow me on TikTok to see my upcoming dressing room try-ons. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.